Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll talk about supervised classification. Now we've discussed object-based and unsupervised classification. In this lecture, our focus will be supervised classification. In supervised classification, the expert provides known training data set. So we'll guide this, the classification by providing um, known sample data set that's called training data. So by providing known training samples or just pixels that have some classes, the model will then classify new, um, new image into those one of those given classes. So that's why we call it supervised classification. Let's see this by example. Now we'll, pro we'll do a supervised classification using um, a Landsat data. So for our training data, we'll use the MODIS land cover classification, IGBP classification. So this is uh, the website if you want more information, the land cover type by um, the MODIS um, IGBP here. Um, and there are, there are um, 17 classes uh, that you can, you know, get information about the class code and also what each of these class codes are. Like, for example, zero water, evergreen, need leaf, uh, needle leaf forest, one. So um, each of these codes will have different explanations. So we're using that data to generate a training sample here. But so we want to classify a Landsat imagery, but we want to use the MODIS land cover class, which has a 500 meter spatial resolution as our training data. Okay, so let's first uh, generate an ROI, a region of interest for our analysis. So this is, I'll provide a lot long information here. And let's load our Landsat imagery, in this case, a Landsat 5 imagery. So I'll uh, import the, the um, image collection here, Landsat 5 image collection here and I'll filter it by date. Uh, for this analysis, I wanna, uh, I wanna use the 2010, uh, 2010 uh, data set, Landsat 5 data set, and also um, clip, um, filter use a filter bound by um, that overlays with my region of interest um, here. And I would also sort it by cloud cover and um, you know, just the first image that means the clearest cloud image for the sample analysis. If you're interested, you can do some more advanced cloud um, removal algorithm. And then cloud score, uh, I'll generate a cloud score here using uh, the Earth Engine built uh, Landsat uh, cloud score uh, algorithm and then provide the input data here, Landsat, um, and then select cloud. That way it will just uh, provide me a cloud score. So my input data for the training, this is just my input data for the classification, right? So I'll have Landsat image and um, update, um, update mask. And um, so that um, it will just um, use only this image for, for the classification. And I'll also provide a 50% cloud, cloud score, anything that has uh, more than 50% cloud contamination, it would just get rid of. So this is my input data um, from the, the Landsat imagery for 2010 uh, from Landsat uh, 5 sensor. Okay, now let's import the MODIS data. So the MODIS data is from the uh, MCD1 to Q1. Uh, I'll use the 2010. And because uh, there are different land cover type classifications, I'll use the land cover type one. Um, that is um, this one. And um, the next step is to, generate, to to automatically generate a training data based on, so my input data is the Landsat, but I'll generate um, sample data based on the MODIS land cover. So now my MODIS land cover data is serving as a training data. I can manually, you know, digitize training data, but you know, for this example, uh, I just want to use the MODIS data, which is already known, you know, land cover map. Um, so it will generate a sample, a random sample of five thousand data points 
you know, pixels. Uh, and so now I have a training data, okay? So now just run my random forest machine learning algorithm. So I'll name it classifier. EE.classifier random forest will, will, you know, just generate a random forest algorithm. And then I'll use 50 um, trees, the number of trees in this random forest classification algorithm, and then train. So I'll provide my training data here, train, which is here. Uh, and what what which which class do I want to use uh, the land cover type for uh, based on the modis uh, land cover class okay now I have um, I, I developed the model here I just have my training data um, now the last thing is to generate a land cover classification based on the Landsat image. So now I uh, call this classified you can name it differently so I'll provide the imagery, the Landsat imagery, the input, and then classify. What it does is just here, we're generating a model based on the table, tabular data here, right? Point data. Now we're just using this classifier to generate a classification map based using the image, okay? Now input classify classifier, we're calling this, or this model, the random forest model here and then apply that classification to this Landsat image. What it gives us is a land use land cover classification map. Um, but before we uh, visualize that, let's just run simple, you know, training um, confusion matrix. So classifier confusion matrix will give us um, the, the accuracy for, for that um, model uh, that we developed and um, we can run that and we want to also um, run a validation that means not with the training data but we need to develop a new data um, so mind you we defined number of pixel 5000 here for the training data seed we just um, define it as zero here right so that's the training data now this second random sample points are one so it's different so it's a new data 5000 points based on the input uh, landsat and also the modis so this is our training data okay uh, sorry validation data so based on the validation data we can classify a model so that's a validation model Okay, so we use the same model classifier, but our input data is, uh, our input table is validation. So uh, that's to test the accuracy of, you know, um, the model with a new um, data. That means a validation data. So this will give us a validation accuracy metrics. Okay. And finally, uh, let's uh, map the, um, the classified imagery um, to visualize our final classified uh, image based on Landsat and also the MODIS training data, okay? Uh, I'll zoom my uh, center object here and also the raw Landsat um, satellite and also the classified map here and I will run that, okay? So here, you have some statistics training overall accuracy. So this is based on the training data, 98% uh, accuracy. Um, you know, that's a pretty good statistics. But what about, you know, the validation data? So the validation is new data generated and, you know, apply that random forest model. So we have 89% um, with the validation data, with new data. That's still a pretty good, um, nearly 90% overall accuracy. Okay, these are the different classes. Uh, actually, this is a confusion, uh, you know, matrix. Um, and let's look at our map, excellent. Okay, so this is our classification. This is the Landsat and this is the classification map. So this is our land use land cover classification based on the Landsat, the 2010 Landsat imagery. As you can see here, uh, you can overlay that with the image, actually the Google Maps image. This is some urban area. Uh, our classification actually identified here. Um, if you are interested to know um, each of, you know, this, these are quotas like one up to 17. Um, and to know what these numbers are one to 17, you can go to this, um, uh, this, uh, Morris land cover, uh, website and you, you can know like, 
uh, which class uh, number three what is the the explanation for number three or, or what is number five mix it for us here so that's exactly how you interpret um, this um, this this data so what I mean uh, by that is if you click on any point here you'll have um, you'll have um, um, values like classification values here for example 13 right so if you go here what is 13 so 13 is urban build tab so our model so if so the all the red areas are um, having a classification so our model predicted as 13 here right so 13 is urban or built up area so if you want to interpret these numbers here you can go to this website so yeah we've done a, 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 a supervised classification on earth engine using uh, landsat data and also using a modis uh, land cover uh, as our training data